Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Angela Samanambiru from Uganda, East Africa. Today, I'm going to react on somebody's video. Actually, there are two people. I was scrolling and I saw them talking about Uganda and I was so happy to share with you guys. They talk about Uganda in a different way. I don't know who they are. I don't know their names, but if you know them, please help me and tag them, mention them so that I can appreciate them more because I mean, I'm a Ugandan. As a Ugandan, I'm happy. So I'm going to show you the videos. But if you know something about Uganda, please comment it in the comment section. I'd love to know. Hmm. And also, I don't care if it is positive or negative. I just want to know what people think about Uganda. And I see how we can do better. Of course, I can't collect the whole country, but I can do better as a person to see if people who come and visit our country get the best i love the people of uganda honestly the people in uganda are very very friendly there you can go up to anyone and become their friend in just a matter of seconds they're easy to love i also grew to love ugandan food when i first went uh, or learned that i was going to uganda i looked up some of the pictures online and uh i wasn't really sure what to expect just because it looked like there was a lot of different kind of just mush on a plate. So I was a little bit worried about that. Over time, I, I was able to grow to love the food there. My first area was called Masaka. And there, they would eat a lot of something called Matoke. It's a banana, but it's not exactly a banana. Most bananas turn yellow when they go ripe and you peel them and eat them. But these uh, Matoke that they eat, they stay green. In fact, when they go ripe, they just go straight to black. But what they do is they they peel them with a knife and they put them all inside of um, banana leaves and then steam them. And then they mash it up and then on top, you can put all kinds of different sauce. You put um, chicken with broth or beef with broth. And then they've also got, they call it g-nut paste. It's pretty much peanut butter, but in a paste form. And then you put it on top of it. So it's kind of different, it's really unique, but um, it's an acquired taste, I could say. <laughs> grasshopper season, we'd have hundreds and hundreds of grasshoppers in our house just flying everywhere, lying on the walls, and people would eat those grasshoppers, they'd t like, take off their wings, then cook them in oil and salt them, and then eat them for, they're like a dessert. So there's lots of grasshoppers there. <laughs> and Uganda, they have the best pineapple I've ever tasted. I don't like pineapple here anymore, I'm just spoiled. Last week I had the first pineapple that I've said, I actually enjoyed this pineapple. They have the little miniature bananas that are like this size, they're really good, and then some other bigger bananas. They have really, really good mango in Uganda as well. Uh oh People will shake your hands and they'll hold your hand while they're talking to you the whole time. So you'll shake someone's hand and they'll just hold it there for 10, 15, 20 seconds, and you just, I kind was of like, what's going on here? And uh, you know, it took a while to get used to that. Um, but then it was fine. <laughs> Normal weather is hot, really hot. It didn't rain too much, but you could tell when it was raining, it started start getting really windy. Once you felt the wind, you knew you had about five minutes until it started just pouring. And usually it would pour really hard for about five, ten, maybe fifteen minutes. I don't think I ever saw it rain for more than an hour straight. And it would be really, really torrential rain pour, and then it just disappear. The driving is crazy. There's a lot of, of honking. It's one thing <laughs> that I noticed right off the bat that you can't really go anywhere without hearing honking all the time. Um, that's kind of how they communicate there with driving. They'll use blinkers a lot differently than we use blinkers here in America. Um, for example, if you're driving down the road and you're going to pass someone, sometimes they'll put on a blinker to their left to tell you, don't pass me, there's a car coming. Or if you'll go around, people will just use blinkers when they're when they're telling you, I'm not really feeling comfortable right now where you're at. So it seems like there's not a, a lot of rules there when you're driving, but in actuality there are. They're just not written. To be honest, I was surprised how very little crashes there were in Uganda. I don't know, it just works. There, you have to pay attention. If you look away for half a second, um, it will just not be good. So the first time I ever drove, I felt like I was in a video game, to be honest. It was, pre it was pretty fun. In general, the people there are very loving and kind and friendly. I wouldn't say that it's a, a really scary place like many think. Many people think that it might be. I, to be honest, probably felt safer there than I do even here. I, I wouldn't have any fear going to uh, this wonderful place. 
But for culture, when people ask you to eat food, you usually you should eat it. They'll usually get offended if you don't eat all of it, although they understand more so for foreigners that maybe you're not used to their food or you can't eat as much as they expect you to. I made a promise, whatever someone puts in front of me, I'm going to eat it. Um, and then if I have something that I know makes me sick, I'll let them know, hey, I can't eat this because it makes me sick. But typically you always eat whatever they give you. They're very, very familial. They'll drop almost anything to go, uh, people will drop anything to go visit their family. If their family's sick, if their family needs help, whatever it is, people will visit their family and they love their family a lot. Something that was kind of a joke is if if you were teaching someone and you couldn't find them, you'd say, oh, they probably went to the village. Uh, just because people would randomly disappear and, like, and then come back through. Because, oh, I was in the village visiting my family. You know, they'd give no warning. It's just, oh, I was in the village. Or I went to the village. Or someone would disappear like, hey, where's this person? Oh, he went to the village. When's he coming back? I don't know. Another joke that missionaries would have is, oh, yeah, I'm coming in five minutes because... You know, people would say that, you know, you'd make an appointment with someone for 3 o'clock and they'd, you'd call them at 2.50 and they'd ask, are you coming? Like, oh yeah, I'll be there in 5 minutes. And you'd call them at 3.15. He's like, oh yeah, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Like, but 30 minutes ago you said you'd be here in 5 minutes. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. And then you'd call them and then, you know, you just, after 30 minutes they're not there. He's like, okay, I'm giving up. And then you'd call them, oh, sorry, I was coming and then I stopped coming. <laughs> I was just like... Are you kidding me? <laughs> There's so much culture there. It's it's great. I love it so much. So you really learn to love the people and everything that they do. There's also um, one thing that I was surprised about is that there is a lot of city, which I, I wasn't expecting when I was going to Africa. They're more developed than I thought. There We do drink with uh, filtered water all the time through the taps just to be safe. Uh, there are restrooms, there are showers. Sometimes the, the the water will go out, the power goes out a lot at times. Sometimes food in the fridge will go bad, It's um, so you, you have to kind of learn to adjust to things like that. But again, the living conditions really aren't that bad. You just get used to it over time. I don't know, it seems like a lot of the people there... Um, just try to find whatever work they can find at the time, to be honest. Some people are businessmen, there are different things like that. But for the majority, um, it seems like they just they go and try to find different jobs that they can at the time. Not a lot of longer term careers, I could say. Um, there are, of course, people that have that. But um, they're hardworking, great people. Some of the people that I met, uh, there's a lot of, they make bricks out of mud. And that's what a lot of people will do. They'll go and find jobs like that. So they make the brick out of mud, lay it in the sun, and let it... Um, they, they put fire under the bricks and let them burn into bricks. And then that's what they build their houses out of a lot of times. And so that's just one job I can think of as an example. The children there have a lot of fun games that they make, um, which I think is really cool. There's a lot of uh, jump rope, things like that. There's a game that they play with uh, rocks. They'll get stones and play. I'm sure a lot of people know the game Jacks, where you bounce the ball and pick up all the jacks. Um, so they have different things like that with rocks, and they have to move it into a circle and out. The weather will never change in Uganda. So people say there's a wet and a dry season. Honestly, while I was there, almost the entire time, I couldn't tell the difference. It's just... Every single day is the very same weather. And so that's something that is nice. I mean, you never have to wonder. It's The only thing that will change is that sometimes it will rain. Sometimes it won't rain. Sometimes it will be dry. But other than that, it's um, it's about 80 to 90 degrees. It's um, a little bit humid, but not too much. It's very green in Uganda. It's a beautiful place. Uh, a lot of banana trees, you'll see that. But... Overall, the, the climate is really nice. You can It seems as if people can grow things year-round, pretty much. So, yeah, it's a really nice place to live for two years. Guys, what do you want to see in my country, in my community? This year, I want to talk about only things that you guys are interested in. Do you want food? Or do you want me to show you cool places? Me and you, we're gonna enjoy this journey, this beautiful life. Yes, I'll be happy to share with you everything.